Well, of all the people to present me with this, my very good old friend and great broadcaster, James Well. James, thank you very much indeed. And I have to say, I'm really rather proud to have this because I'm a new boy. I've only been doing this for a couple of years. So a huge thanks to all those good, ordinary folk who live outside the M25 for voting for me. I suspect that had the industry had the say, I very much doubt I would have won, and I'm certain that three GB News presenters would not have been in the short list of five, which should be very instructive for the whole of the industry. You see, the investors, please do keep the abuse coming, because it says a lot more about you than it does about me. <laughs> well, whether they're BBC or not, I don't mind. But learn this, and those of you shouting, think about this. There's a gap in the market, a massive gap in the broadcasting market. You've all become too much the same. And that's why the investors in GB News, and led by Angelo Frangipoulos, have gone out there, and what we're doing is we're creating a new identity brand in British broadcasting. major force in British broadcasting. Now, I've been through this process before, of course. I led a party that was mocked and derided at lunches like this that went on to win a national election. And in those days, it was the polling industry who didn't understand us. Here's my one very serious point. Please take it on board. Poor old Rob can't open his eyes. He's finding it so tricky, so awkward, so difficult. This industry is worth between about 12 and 15 billion pounds every year. And it matters culturally, it matters in so many ways in our country. And yet, the way we measure who is watching and who is listening to programmes is completely out of touch and out of date. This is, I had much louder than this at the European Parliament, sir. I'm disappointed. The idea that Barb, the idea that Barb from which all the advertising is set, is owned by the existing broadcasters, means the industry is marking its own homework. The idea of 5,300 foxes across the country, oh, I can hear the noise. There's a lot of money at stake. There's a lot of money at stake. Any idea of competition, and you should shout, and you should be frightened because you will lose your jobs because I can tell you this, Bar is wrong and we need reform of this system. We need, oh look, there we are. We need the heavies of gun. And if you, if you cannot see, if you cannot see as an industry that the way you're measuring TV ratings is out of touch, is out of date, then I feel very, very sorry for all of you. I'd like to come out to you tonight. Well done. Come on! <laughs>